guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Hello driver, today you'll be driving between Barons Court and Ealing Broadway using a 73 stock. As Zitch Line tracks works resulted in buses replacing Richmond and Wimbledon trains and Piccadilly Line trains replacing Ealing Broadway trains. Good luck, there won't be many trains due to the works. So we're currently at Hammersmith, so let's open the doors. Placing a district line between here and Ealing Broadway, which is actually really really cool. So, normally, the Piccadilly Line trains run on the two middle tracks, but we're running on the district line tracks, which are the two outer ones, so a little bit different. So I've been having trouble where the, some of the signals are red and basically it allows me to pass them but unfortunately um, the emergency brake kicks in straight away so not too sure if that's a problem with the actual scenario or the actual itself and signals so as you can see we got red school now but I'm gonna wait for a bit and see what happens good on district line train not district line sorry Piccadilly line train overtaking us on the Piccadilly lines tracks and we've got another one arriving towards Hammersmith so a lot is happening around the Hammersmith area today there we go. So I'll basically tell you what it means. So if you click tab, it tells us we can approve it's approved and we can pass it, but what will happen is that we'll pass it and the emergency brick will kick in, so and look all the other signals are green, so I think it's just some kind of bug with the actual scenario signals on this route so we're just gonna get going and a signal will uh, obviously alarm so we will have to reset the trip clock button and when we do we'll be limited to 10 miles an hour for the first couple of minutes as you can see so a shift T to reset it so we can continue to going but we will be limited to 10 miles an hour as you can see so I think it will last for at least two or three minutes now, I did see this feature on S8 stock train that just train showed on the twitch channel now obviously this train doesn't have any displays or anything but on the S8 stock train there's like a display where it shows you a small timer which shows you how long the trip clock uh, reset last for so there's a pretty cool feature on SA stock train when it does come out obviously this is this train's been made by somebody so majority of these buttons all work but it's a pretty good de detailed model of the camp anyway so and I know what you're thinking we're floating in mid-air because the scenery underneath isn't loaded up for some reasons so anyways so yeah Piggy line can float in the air as you can see Funny, but anyways, we are approaching Ravenswood Park, which is our first station for today. So normally, Piccadilly Line trains don't stop at the station, but we're taking over the district line, so we are going to be stopping at all stations to Ealing Broadway. I've been told it only lasts for a couple of minutes, the 10 miles an hour um, speed limit, but. One thing I have 
I've noticed that this platform is a little bit too small to fit this Piccadilly line, so... We do have to go a little bit forward than we should have. That should do. Just to get the rear doors open. Actually, to be fair, we could have stopped a bit earlier anyway, so... Unfortunately, the front doors don't open, unfortunately. red signal but I'm just gonna quickly check if it clears to go. Like this one's green, this one's green, the next one's yellow so it's not literally no trains ahead of us. So that's on a completely separate track so I'm hoping the alarm won't set again but we'll see what happens. Okay that time it was okay. service to Ealing Broadway. I haven't actually driven to Ealing Broadway in this route, so it should be quite fun. Next station, Turnham Green. Between the train and the platform. This is Turnham Green. Change it for the Piccadilly line. Services towards Oxbridge and Heathrow Tunnels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I can assure you this train will not be going to Heathrow Tunnels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 because even though this is a Piccadilly line train and the destination board is set to Heathrow. We're not going to that station. It would be amazing actually go to you from in this game. That would be really cool. Next station, Chiswick Park.
is a clock. And this train is ready to depart through the doors. Next station is Acton Town. Please change here for the Piccadilly Line services towards Oxbridge and Heathrow Terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Station Eden Common. So I am just tapping through all the red signals because I think they're all meant to be green anyway, but for some reason they're not, so. So I believe if we were going to Heathrow, that we'd be going uh, underneath here. But obviously, District Line trains go up and above towards Eden Common and Eden Broadway. I do apologize for the route not 
being perfect in terms of the tracks not showing up properly etc and the scenery but I'll be honest I don't know what asset I'm missing specifically if I did then I would probably get to and make sure that everything loads up properly before I do these videos but yeah nothing really I can do about it That way, the Ealing Common, our penultimate stop on the journey. The next stop is Ealing Border, where you can change for the National Rail Services and for the Central Line. stop there but let me quickly double check if we're clear to go so that's a red signal I believe we're going this side is it that side or are we going this side uh, I have no idea I'm assuming we're going this side yeah to a distance towards Ealing Broadway which is over there I think we should be able to go so let's get going We are going to be limited to 10 miles an hour. So there's, that, there's quite a lot of red signals, but I'm not too sure if they do eventually turn green or not. Should we just wait here and see if it does? Well, let's wait a bit and see if it does change to green. If not, then we'll pass it. I'm pretty sure that should be a green or even a yellow. So we are good to go. Yeah, they're all green signals anyway, apart from that one. And this is Ealing Broadway. Looking very nice. We can change the central line as well, so... You know, let's get going. I'm not too sure about this. If you guys play this Nora, then please let me know if I am able to go past these red signals or should I be waiting for it to turn green because because some signals allow you to pass. But if we weren't able to pass these red signals, then it would tell us it would give us a decline. Uh, it will tell us that um, we're not allowed to go past it, but. Is approving all the red things anyway, so we should be able to pass that without the alarm uh, ringing. Anyways, we're going towards Ealing Broadway now. The way you can change the central line, and National Rail Services. those tracks there were going straight up go towards Oxbridge for the Piccadilly line so this is where the Grimace main line joins up Thank you. 
guessing. I actually completely forgot about the 10 miles an hour speed limit, so that's why you saw me harshly braking. So I've only been to Eating Road I think a few times in real life and pretty nice station to go to because you have obviously the district line, central line and of course the National Rail Services, Heathrow Express, Heathrow Connect, really nice station to go to. But we are at Eating Broadway. Where this train terminates, all change, please, all change. Actually, we're actually going back to Eating Common, so that's interesting. To be fair, Eating Common does get shared by the Piccadilly line and district line, so that does kind of make sense. So, let's change ends. Lights are working, so that's all good. Maybe we're taking it back to um, Ealing Common, where it'll be changed back to a PD line service to where it's decided to go, where we cut forces, etc. I'm assuming these two tracks are for the central line and these two are for the district. I'm pretty sure the district are on the far ends, whereas the central lines are on the, these two middle tracks. Central line would go towards next station on the line. When they will extend this route, or will they ever? To be fair, if they do ever extend this route, then I will definitely play, play it. And I would really like to actually travel, maybe towards Oxbridge or towards Cockfosters, which would be a pre. Click tab and nothing happened, so I assume that we were allowed to go there, but I guess not.
clicking tab, but nothing's happening, so I'm guessing we should be okay. Hopefully. Surprise, surprise, we're not allowed to go across that signal, but anyways. Okay, apparently that's counted as us stopping there, so. Um. Yes, I guess this is Elin Common. Uh, even though passengers can't get aboard, so I'm not too sure why it's letting me actually stop the train here and pick up passengers, but anyways. That's the end of the scenario. Okay, driver, shun your train into Elin Common Depot. Road 18 before earning your shift. Actually, the train was going to Depot anyway, so it's all good. Oh, wait, we're continuing. Wait, are we? Uh, I'm not too sure. But it's telling us to go to the depot, so I guess we're going to be doing that. I actually thought the story was ending now, but I guess not. Yeah, all these signals are red now, it's not letting me tab or anything, so... I think it's a bit broken now. All these signals are red, literally. So I, I think we should be okay now. Change the tracks, I'm not too sure. Where are we meant, where are we meant to go? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure actually. It's not really telling us where to stop either, so I think this might be a bit broken. Stop here or not? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm a bit lost. I think we'll just stop here, you know. I have no idea. I feel like it's a bit broken, the scenario. Will that count? Not really. Anyway, I'll end the scenario there. That was District Line 73 stock replacement scenario. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.